so far we've seen that the current in a series circuit is exactly the same at every point. The current through resistor 1 is the same as the current through resistor 2, the same as to the current through resistor 3. And we've seen that the total resistance in a series circuit is the sum of each resistor in turn. If I have two resistors, R1 and R2, the total resistance is R1 plus R2. Now let's take a look at voltage in a series circuit. Remember that the total resistance is the sum of each resistor. And the current is the same. Let me multiply through both sides by I. I can do that. And what you notice here is that I times R is Ohm's law. V equals I times R. So that according to this equation, the total voltage at the terminal is equal to the voltage from the first resistor, the voltage of the second one, and the voltage of the third all added up. Now, that's not how we usually write this, though. What we say is we go around the circuit, and we start at a point, and notice we gain potential as we go through the battery. We gain. A little charge is gaining potential. But we lose potential through R1. There's a potential drop. We lose potential through R2. There's another drop in potential. And finally, at the end, there's a R3, there's a drop in potential there. And notice, uh, the gains and uh, losses of potential as we go all around a series circuit equals zero. Here's an analogy. Imagine um, a ski lift taking skiers to the top of a mountain. And there's several hills as you ski down. You go down one hill, and you lose some of the energy you've gained. You ski, go down the other hill, you lose more energy, and finally, you're at the very bottom and have to start all over again. Well, that's like the circuit. The battery is the ski lift, giving the potential. <laughs> and each resistor is like the ski run, where you're losing your potential energy. And you're losing through each one of the resistors. You're down at the bottom and have to start through the circuit all over again. Let's review now what we've learned about a series circuit. First of all, the current is the same everywhere in a series circuit. Next, the total resistance is the sum of each resistor. Just add them up. Next, the total voltage gains and drops, the gains and the losses as you go around the circuit, comes to zero. And finally, we can also point out that the total voltage is equal to the total current times the total resistance. These need to be memorized and reviewed, and then we can move on to parallel circuits.